And so in this part of the video, I'll be walking you guys through on how to make use, how to make use of use state in the form of array. So we have we have covered in our previous video where we have gone through how to make how to use use state function, which is a hook, which is a React hook that can be used for almost every single time. That's which is which is like almost the most common way to actually uh, make use to most of the stuff that happens in React. So in this case. What we're gonna do is that we're gonna make that use state that we have configured in the previous video, but the different is gonna we're gonna make use array, array in the form of uh, like you can actually make use of uh, array and you can just replace the state. For example, let's say we're gonna have a state called list. In that list, we're gonna store the state of array. So let's get started. So let's this is the uh, blank uh, project that we have just created. That we, that we usually start with and first of all we need to uh, import use state function which is uh, need to go here at the top here and you need to import it by having use state like this okay so we have already imported next thing we need to declare those variables the those variables are the set setter function so I'm gonna say const and I'm gonna open a square back bracket just in this case I'm gonna call it list and I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, name the the name of the function that sets the value of the list called set list and of course I'm going to call use state to actually to declare the the initial value of list so I'm just going to say used state okay then I'm just going to open this particular uh, uh, yeah bracket here as to in this inside bracket in this bracket where we're going to initialize the value of list so since since we're going to initialize list equals to an array we're gonna make we're gonna make a square bracket which is an array like this and this is where we're gonna place our array inside here so in this case I'll be saying uh, I mean let's gonna it's gonna open this particular uh, uh, yeah square bracket like this so I'm just gonna open it like this in this case I'm gonna place the, my, my first list item which is I would say book there's some simple text here so in this case my the, I mean I have an array called list in that partic inside that particular array I have this element called book that's the first item in my list of array so let's go to return here and I would like to make use of this list inside here so how I will, how, how I will be able to make use of this list so if I just click on list here and I just instead of app here let's say I would like to replace it with list okay something like this so in this case if I click on refresh so as you can see here I mean if I click on save so as you can see here it's compiling And there you go you you will see something the book I mean the the content of the uh, of your array of list and what happens if I have more than one item here so if I I mean sort of the next item that I will replace is actually pen so let's save it here so as you can see here we are just what, what we're doing here is that we're gonna we're gonna we are just like displaying we're just like displaying whatever the content of the list which is not a good way this, this is not a good way to actually to show your list we need to map through each and every single item and not just to display every single items one shot it's not we are not going to make it in the form of a uh, text or string we need to make it we need to present it make use of that uh, array format as it as it is as array format so how are we able to do that we need to use map function so as you can see here instead of instead of list here we're going to make dot uh, dot map so in this case we're going to have a bracket here and inside the map bracket we're gonna have the function so this is gonna be the function of this yeah it's a arrow function and this is where we're gonna call the list of items okay something like this but 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 then we don't want but then we don't want it to be called like this in this either way so let I me mean, let's go and hit refresh so so as you can see here this is not a good way of actually calling the function also so there must be a better way to do it. I mean, we don't, which we does not involve uh, anything like this. So we can hit refresh, and as you can see here, it's actually displaying it twice because uh, because there's two times they are calling it. So this is this is not a good way as well. So what we can do also here is that we can actually make it like a list, like an HTML HTML uh, diff like this. You open it like this, and I mean, of course, instead of we place it we copy this function here and we remove this what we do we gonna have a ul ul, UL and wait, let me just open this ul and we're gonna have li 
and this is a normal HTML way to actually call your uh, list of uh, items inside a list like this. So what are you going to do here instead of instead of L high here? I'm going to replace this particular. Uh, take this thing, remove it inside my li. I would like to call the list dot map, and inside here I'm going to call the li here. So this is where I would like to call this li. Here. This is just going to be uh, repeated uh, multiple times like this. So as you can see here. I mean, sorry, not list. Sorry, list li just just li like this. And I would like to return a multiple li. I mean list list uh, tags like this. So inside the list tag is where we're going to place the content, the element of this list. So how are we able to do that? First of all, we must pass the data. We must pass the item inside this particular function, which is this item is basically the item of the list. So we copy the item, we paste it inside here. I mean, we need to play. We need to have like open and closing curly braces like this and we place this item inside here so what is going to be happen what just happened is here and before that let's refresh and save it okay as you can see here what just happened here is that it's the same thing like this let me just uh, copy and then just just replace like this so it's, uh, it's basically like this it's like having multiple times this is, this is i mean the items being called uh, like twice here because there's two items inside list and it just calls how many that the number of times that uh, i mean the number of times actually equals to the number of items inside the list so that's how array dot map actually works so that's the way why how are we able to make use of use state function in for uh, use state function for array array format when we would like to set a list equals to array so that's it for me for this part of the video let's learn more about react in the next videos thanks